W. Lee Bussell was born on March 8, 1953, in Augusta, Georgia. His parents actually lived in North Augusta, South Carolina, but the local hospital was located across the state line, so Lee had to settle for being born in Georgia, which is tough for someone as loyal to this state as Lee. Growing up, he and his family were constantly talking about current events, which Lee says helped prepare him to be a good communicator. His father taught him the importance of a good work ethic, while his mother insisted Lee know how to prioritize and get all of his tasks accomplished. He credits his parents for laying the foundation to his business success. Lee was very involved in sports as a child, whether it was Little League baseball, football, basketball, or track and field. Lee was on the team, and the spirit of competition became embedded into every part of his life. Lee even says that spirit is what drives him today. Lee graduated from Lower Richland High School and entered the University of South Carolina in 1971 with the dream of becoming a businessman. That was until he learned that all business administration majors had to learn computer programming. So he switched gears, taking on journalism as a major that dealt with business but not with computer programming. Being just nine hours short of graduation, Lee went to work as the press secretary for Lieutenant Governor Brantley Harvey. He left there and continued to grow his resume by going to work for Don Fowler. His competitive spirit took hold, and as he worked his way up the corporate ladder, he realized he had forgotten those nine hours of credit he needed to graduate from the University of South Carolina. So he returned to school and completed his final coursework and received his degree in 1981. That's the same year he also received his accreditation from the Public Relations Society of America. Lee's competitive spirit also led him to meet his wife. In 1984, he found himself judging the Miss Southern 500 pageant. Mary Beth Mobley was a contestant, and Lee didn't like the way she answered his question. So he gave her a zero, which obviously didn't set well with Mary Beth. But she ran into Lee two years later when she was job hunting, and somehow they managed to get over their differences. The two were married in 1986 and now have two sons, Lee, a sophomore at Presbyterian College, and Chase, a ninth grader at Chapin High School. Lee formed Broom and Bustle in 1986 and then went to work for Newman Sailor and Gregory in 1988. He became president and CEO of the company 10 years later. When merging with Chernoff Silver in 2003, Bussell became the chairman and CEO of Chernoff Newman. In 2003, he was also named Distinguished Alumnus for the College of Journalism and Mass Communications. And in 2005, he was named Distinguished Alumnus of the Leadership Columbia Program. Most recently, Lee was named Ambassador of the Year by the Greater Columbia Chamber of Commerce. Bussell served a term as the chairman of the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce and as chairman of the South Carolina Business Alliance for Transportation. He is currently completing his sixth consecutive year on the executive committee of the South Carolina Chamber of Commerce. Lee has also served as a member of the advisory board for the South Carolina Competitive Initiative and as a member of the Vision South Carolina team that established the state's long-term vision of increasing South Carolina's per capita income to at least the national average. For his entire career, Lee has had a great passion for public education and the University of South Carolina. His determined commitment for transitioning the state to a knowledge-based economy is evident from his continuous work with the Chamber and the Central Carolina Economic Development Alliance. No longer fearful of computer programming, Lee now embraces new technology and the ever-changing marketplace. In fact, he practically lives on his Palm Pilot, which seems to work for Lee because it allows him to work wherever he may be, in the office, at home on the lake, or on the island off of Fripp. For his numerous business accolades and personal achievements, the South Carolina State Chamber would like to award Lee Bussell with the 2007 Business Leader of the Year Award.